Good morning. <laughs> Happy Monday. We're back here at Monday. And how did your weekend fare? Were you on track towards your health goals, towards your physical goals, towards your mental goals? Has the last week been? I'm coming here from a place of humility and celebration. Personally, at the beginning of September, I made a decision to stop some actions and behaviors and to really just dig in. And I want to encourage you today that wherever you are, the destination is important that we know where we want to accomplish. We, we need to know that, but we have to live in the day, in the moment, and we win and we get to our final destination one day at a time in each day as it occurs. Not like, whoop, linear, but one day, one stroke, one, one fail <laughs> at a time. Anyone who wants to understand this in a different line, I'm gonna use children learning to walk. If you have ever had an opportunity to be so blessed to follow a youngster from that crawling, scooting on the floor to picking themselves up along a piece of furniture and trying to make their sea legs work. And what if we were like children and the first time you fell down, you just kept going instead of, God, I suck at that, I failed and we quit. How many times have you quit on yourself in the past? Don't lie, because I have done that too. But I'm learning that if I choose to use each day as a gauge, I, am I winning the day? I don't go out to my future and go, well, am I there yet? Because I'm not, right? But if every day I can lay my head on the pillow that I have found some wins in the day, some things I've done, or even as important and sometimes more important, what am I learning? So you watch this child stand up, get their balance, balance a little bit, and then they fall. And they're thinking about, okay, well that, yeah, okay. And they tenaciously get right, right back up because they don't know they can fail. They haven't learned that yet. We haven't instilled that failing thing in them yet. What do we do? We encourage, we cheer, we go, come on, Susie, come on, Joey, I know you can. And they get the smiles from us and they're encouraged and they want to succeed. They want to accomplish it. And so they try again, right? And I'm gonna encourage you, no matter what you are pursuing, no matter what, no matter what happened in the past, no matter what, today is a brand new day, fresh for you. You have this in you to get up, look at where you are. And here's the hard part that I have found. It's the hardest part of all facing that current real reality. Like what is my real current reality? And a lot of us don't wanna face that. We wanna put the, hoo -hoo. well, you, you cannot move anywhere if you are not willing to look at where you are in the world. You have to be able to see yourself. I'm gonna turn, I have to stop and breathe. I'm gonna turn this around. Here's where I'm at in the world. As I get inspired ideas, as I pray over my people that I work alongside on this journey, as I know that it's in you to pursue your goals, I know it's in you. You might need to get yourself back up and you might need to scrape off your knees, elbows, but you know what? The only way you can possibly fail, the only way, 
is if you quit too soon. If you are learning, you are growing, and you are moving forward, no matter what. But you got to be willing to get into action every single day towards whatever you want. So I'm going to encourage you today. It's Monday. What do you want? What do you want in your life? What do you want in your health? What do you want in your relationships? What's missing? What do I need to let go of? What's something I need to dig into? Is there some internal dialogue that's messing in my head that's telling me I'm not worthy, it's not possible, I can't? Do you know those are lies? And those lies come from resistance from evil. You can, you are capable, it is possible, you are worthy. It takes one foot in front of the other, one step. A journey is a journey of a lifetime. It's one step at a time, one step at a time. Maybe it's four steps backward. Whoa, maybe I fell on my butt and now I gotta rethink where am I, what happened? What happened? If you had a weekend where it didn't go the way you wanted, this is the day you look back and you go, what happened? And I learned something this weekend. I learned that when I'm home working in my house, I'm more apt to snack on things that I shouldn't, like too many almonds or too many of little things that are in my light. So over the weekend, Neil and I were out and about and doing things and I said, you know, I'm not doing that. Huh. So today on Monday, I'm thinking about winter because <clears throat> winter's coming and I want to create a plan for myself to succeed in my own personal health when I'm probably going to be cooped up a little bit more in my home and here comes a school bus and when winter comes and I'm cooped up more hmm those temptations are gonna gather they're gonna bother me so my idea today is I'm gonna have a plan as to how I'm gonna make my home bulletproof <laughs> so I win but so I'm thinking if I'm thinking about the future but I'm also thinking about today like I just need to win today and consistently over time every day that I win I am gonna get wherever it is I'm going in my health in my life in my marriage, in my finances, whatever I'm working on, wherever I'm putting my focus, that's out there. I know where I'm going. I focus on the wins. I focus on the fact that this weekend I was out and about and I was riding bike and I actually got on the scale today and I am seeing the results. Looking that Corey has been one whole 28 days, 27 yet, because today is still today, without sugar. That's a big win for me and I am celebrating it and I'm gonna go all the way through September and right now because September's almost done I'm feeling pretty confident that I can do that but I just have to win today just today and tomorrow I get to go mm -hmm. what do you need to do today so that you can lay your head on the pillow tonight saying I won the day what do you want to win today comment below or send me a private message is something you're working on in your life today. I want to hear from you. You matter to me.